Hi folks, welcome back to the channel. Apologies for my voice today, a little bit of a cold coming on, but that's not going to stop us making some videos. So today's video is going to be concerning the paper mats from The Walking Dead by Mantic Games. Uh, the quality of them isn't the best, I, sh I would say, and it's probably the only thing that really lets the, the starter box down. But never let that stop us. We've tried making our own board, which is great if you've got a little bit of time on your hands and you don't mind having a, um, a, a, a more permanent board in place. But I thought I'd do something with the paper mats. That means we can still put them back in the box, but just gives a little bit of durability to them. So here we turn the paper mats into a game board. Okay, first of all, we're going to start off with the materials that you need to make these boards. So for each mat that you're going to make, you need one A1 sheet of mount board. This one's black, but you can buy other colors and you can buy white. Uh, a roll of tape. The, this is black because the board I'm using is black. Some adhesive spray, a steel rule, a sharp scalpel or a, or a hobby knife and some colored pens just for edging the side of the boards. You can buy the boards which are also the same color in the core as well but they were just much more expensive. So we're going to start off here by just putting the mat that you're choosing to uh, to make. Just put it onto the uh, the white side here of the, of the, the mount board and I'm just going to mark the size of it so we can cut it out. Um, I've kind of I've, I've kept it away from the edge just so we've got a little room just to trim things up rather than uh, having it uh, too tight and it not being quite big enough. So once you've marked all the way around the edge, take the steel rule, line it up and just very slowly just run, uh, run the knife over it and just do it in multiple cuts. Make sure you're doing it on a cutting board there as well, not cutting through the carpet. Uh, I bear no responsibility for angry wives, husbands, girlfriends, partners, uh, mothers and fathers. Just keep cutting through the board until you've got a nice clean cut uh, and then that'll break away. And then just turn it around and do the other side to get your square. Okay, and next stage then is to overlay your mat again. And what we're going to do is we want to mark the center point through where through the board will fold. We'll move it slightly away from the bottom edge. Just take a pen and mark where the crease is through the, the bottom of the, of the mat there. And then do exactly the same thing on the top as well. Then just taking the, the scrap of the offcut, which we know is the is the straight edge from the from the edge of the board, just join those two points up and just draw a line straight down the middle of the board. And this is where we're going to cut to create the form. So now we've got that line, just take the steel rule and using exactly the same method, just slow um, clean cuts, cut all the way through that center line. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're just going to line those two pieces up now. And we're going to take that tape and we're just going to tape right the way across that joint to create um, almost a hinge for the fold. So take the piece of tape and just smooth it down from one end to the other, getting out any air bubbles, it needs to be nice and smooth and making sure that we don't get any wrinkles in it. Then take your steel rule and your knife and just trim off the edges at both the top and the bottom. Then just fold it over and put a little bit of pressure on it just to make sure it's well stuck down and you get a nice crisp fold. Next what we need to do is to take the mat that you're using and fold it in half and really kind of press down and put a good crease in that. Because what we're going to do now is we're going to cut the mat in half. Yep, unfortunately we need to uh, to take, take it apart before we can put it back together again. So lie your mat flat, use your steel rule and just line up against the crease. You should be able to see it quite well because it's it seems to break the print a little bit and you get a nice white line which is one of the issues with the mat really so just run the, the this doesn't take much pressure as it's only paper but just nice slow strokes we don't want to tear anything or, or, or slip so just nice slow strokes and cut all the way through next stage is to ap apply the adhesive glue and what i've done is i've put some um, grease proof paper down just to, so that it doesn't stick just make sure that you cover it because it is very stringy this glue but make sure you get a good covering uh, right the way across the entire back of the mat and then just leave it for a few seconds just to go tacky. Next, take the board and fold it so it's upright. Just put something behind it, hold it in place. And take the, the mat, making sure that you have it the right orientation. And what we're going to do is we're going to pu push it up against the, the, the crease or against the, the hinge in the board. And just take it, take it very slowly, get it lined up perfectly. You can always take it back off again if you just take it slow. But once it's stuck down, it really is stuck down. So just take your time and get it right. Once it's in the right position, just smooth along the edge. Make sure it's stuck 
and then very glad, gradually working away from there just with a piece of paper towel just to get it nice and smooth so we don't get any air bubbles or any wrinkles in it and smooth out from the center towards the sides and they should push any air out and ensure you get a nice smooth adhesion to the board. Okay next up we're going to do exactly the same thing with the other half of the mat. Again just putting it on top of greaseproof paper to protect any surface underneath and take the spray adhesive and give it a good coating. Again waiting a few seconds afterwards just until it goes tacky. Now the reason we do it in two halves rather than just put it on as one piece is because this spray adhesive really is so sticky it clings, clings to your fingers and kind of makes everything very difficult and trying to stick the whole board down in one go is very very difficult. It's much easier to, uh, to do it in two halves. We've got to put the two pieces back together anyway so you won't see any joints. So take your board again and again just prop up the back of it just so you have a, an edge to work against. Take the other piece of the mat, again remembering to make sure that we get it the right way around so the two, line, uh, the two parts line up. And again just push it up against where the, where the board hinges. By lifting it up you get a, a nice kind of hard edge to push up against. And you can see from where you've cut through the mat there's certain points that line up and you also have the, the fold part down the middle as well as a good indication of where to, where to start from. And again just as we did with the first part, make sure it's lined up and then just smooth out along the fold and then smooth out from the center point ensuring we get no wrinkles and no air bubbles. Again just take a paper towel and just really rub, rub quite hard across the, uh, the joint and make sure everything's stuck right down and smooth everything right out. Don't worry too much about the, the joints or, or the creases in the, in the mat at the minute because we can only use the colored pens just to kind of to mask that. And now that we have both halves stuck down, the hard work's over really. Now it's just a case of trimming everything up and making it fit. So as you can see, with the, you can see some of the white of the board sticking through at the bottom there. So this is where we need to, to trim this off. And the best way to do this to make sure we get it nice and square is to cut it while it's folded in half. That way both sides will line up properly. So take your steel rule and trim down the edge, just, just enough to take away the, the excess board and not cutting into the mat. Do the same again around all uh, all edges. Then take the black pen, it's much better if you've got a marker pen, this was all I had at the time, um, and just rub that along the white edge of the board. Again if you've bought a um, mount board that was had a coloured core you might not need to do this, but I just found it was a, this with the white core was about half the price, so this was a cheaper option. Just run the pen right the way along the edge, and what this does is it just takes away that harsh whiteness and just blends it in so that the edges of the board stand out. We need to, to put the two edges of the boards against each other as well when you're using the two mats together. So this just kind of hides any joints also. Okay, the next stage now is we need to, to cut it in half again. But we need to cut it in the opposite way to where we've taped. So we're not cutting through the joint where we've taped to fold it, we're cutting through the, the opposite one. So again, just line your steel rule up with the crease in the mat and again very slowly just cut all the way through. Now we have the board in two halves, it's just worth taking a bit of uh, kitchen roll and just running it along them joints as well. As you run the blade through sometimes it seems to lift it a little bit as the glue's still drying. So just run it down there and make sure we've got nice tight seals. And the next job now is to, uh, is you, you can take the, the coloured pens and just run it along the edges as well. This time I'm using a green pen because the, the joint is going to be where the grass is. So this is the point where you, you tend not to be able to see that white line now um, where the creases of the paper have been originally. So by using a green marker pen, just colour that in. You can use black and it'll work just as well, but the green blends in slightly better. And also where the road sections are, I've used a great pen. Now we've edged across them, we need to just line them back up again and flip them over. And what we're going to do is we're going to tape across half of the split, not, not the full length, just half so that we create a hinge. And the easiest way to do this is to fold the boards in half. So again, line them two up, take your tape, and tape fully across the joint the same way we did before, making sure that you start at one end and smoothing it out to make sure again that we don't get any wrinkles. Then take your steel rule and knife again, and trim off the excess right to the edge. And there we have it, the board's now finished, ready to fold up, into the same size it was when it was just a folded piece of paper. 
If you bought the Kickstarter or you buy any later editions as well, you can do both maps and then you can join them together as well to play bigger games. I think that this joins the maps together much more securely than when they just lie in flat as pieces of paper as well and it looks uh, much more effective and much more hard wearing. As you can see, you can just fold them back up again as well. And the beauty of this method is they fit back in the original box. Okay then folks, hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like, please subscribe to see more videos from me. Uh, and please leave a comment down below as well, just so I know what you thought of the video. And also just let me know some of the other games you play. I'm interested in making more videos. Uh, and obviously we can't make every single video about The Walking Dead. So it'll be interesting to know what kind of games you guys play. I'd also be interested if you're, if you're on Facebook, please take a look in the description below. You'll see a link to uh, my Facebook group as well. And that's an opportunity for all of you guys and girls to kind of come together and, and share some of the, the work that you're doing as well. So whether it's something that you've seen in one of my videos or something you've seen in someone else's video and you've done some, uh, some kind of hobby work, then please just uh, join the group and you can share and we can discuss things there as well. So thanks very much for watching and I'll see you again in the next video.